Every vaccine against the coronavirus is the spike protein that sticks out of its surface. That's the part the virus uses to get into our cells, causing an infection. The goal is to get the immune system to make antibodies that stick to that spike, says University of Maryland infectious disease doctor Jim Campbell. It will prevent the virus from being able to enter your cells. And that is like, you know, that's the holy grail here. One route to this holy grail is by injecting whole inactivated viruses, says vaccine expert Paul Offit. Take a virus and you grow it up. And then you inactivate it with a chemical. By inactivate it, what that means is the virus cannot reproduce itself. Um, that's the way that we make the hepatitis A vaccine. It's the way that we make the polio vaccine. It's the way that we make the rabies vaccine. The immune system makes antibodies to the inactivated virus, so it will be ready if the real thing comes around. Two Chinese companies are trying this method. A newer method uses a different, weaker virus as a delivery vehicle. It takes advantage of how simple a virus really is. It's just a um, a ball, essentially, that holds within it genetic code. There is nothing else to the virus. That genetic code is instructions for making more of the virus. Scientists replace the genetic code of the weak virus with instructions for just the spike protein from the coronavirus. So what happens is the virus attaches to cells, enters cells, and then that protein, the, the uh, spike protein, is made inside your cell. So you make an immune response to the, the spike. You make the spike protein and you make an immune response to the spike protein. That's the way the Ebola vaccine was made successful. And that's the strategy the Oxford University AstraZeneca vaccine uses. The third and newest method delivers the genetic blueprint directly into cells inside microscopic fat bubbles. You just directly in inject that gene, which is then taken up by muscle cells, and that gene is then translated to the protein, which you then make an immune response to. Those are the mRNA vaccines that are being made by Pfizer and Moderna and others. There's no guarantee any of them will be safe and effective. That's why tests on tens of thousands of people are underway now. Experts are hopeful for results by the end of the year. Steve Barragona, VOA News.